Hello, are you into climbing gear and products? Have you thought about buying a new climbing helmet? And have you had a look at Petzl's extensive range of helmets online? If so, this video is right up your street as I'll be unboxing the Petzl Sirocco 2 and it's going to be awesome. Rolling! All right, so here's the box that I've been waiting for for absolutely ages. And I'm going to try not to cut anything when I open it. So this is the Petzl Sirocco. And this is the, the new version or the two, I think from about 17, 2017 onwards, with a slight redesign. Get rid of that, I don't need that. This is a little uh, Maylon Rappi that I got as well. And here it is. So the Petzl Sirocco, uh, medium slash large, in black and orange with a bit of silver. So I think what we've got here is the box, the helmet, and just some kind of add-ons. That's some extra foam for the cap. And I'm gonna be really careful. Let's see if I can cut it away without cutting the strap. There we go. All right, let's have a closer look. the side, there's the top, nice shiny top. There's just something about Petzl, I really like the brand Petzl and they're one of the companies that make some of the best stuff and looking for the best helmet on the market, this is pretty much what came up everywhere. So let's open it up. Really simple design for the box. Hardly any plastic. The only plastic was just the covering, really. And that's that. And here's the helmet. It is so light. There's literally nothing to it. Place it on the floor for a second. One last little look at the box. And that's that. Okay. It is so light. This thing is absolutely wafer thin. Feels like it's just going to float away. Uh, what have we got? So we've got some straps. That looks like a magnetic push button. Pretty cool. All right, so this design is um, slightly different to a normal helmet. It's kind of like a foam composite around the edge, a little bit in the middle, and then there's a, a really thin light shell on top. The straps are really thin. Again, this is such a light helmet. All right, let's see if I can put it on without adjusting any of the straps. I'm gonna pause the video just here for a second and ask for your help in supporting my channel as I've not received any financial benefits for featuring this Petzl product.
All I ask is that if you're enjoying the video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, then click subscribe. And as my videos are released, they'll pop up in your feed. All right, thanks for that. Back to the video. I mean, it, it just feels like there's nothing, nothing to it. It's so light. This buckle might take a bit of getting used to. Doesn't seem like a normal push clip. Let's have a closer look. So whereas most helmets have a trident clip, this is completely different. There's just two prongs and there's a magnet in between. So you don't even need to push. All you gotta do is put it near it and it locks in, which is gonna be awesome if you're wearing gloves. And then if I try and pull it apart, it's not coming apart, press in and release. So to go in is a clip, to release is a gentle push and a pull, and that's it. Right, let's try that again. That's it, done. All right, I'm definitely gonna need to adjust the straps. Let's make it as big as it will go. So there is one big strap at the back around the back of the head. And it doesn't look like there's much more that adjusts. That's much better. On it clips, pull tight, and then adjust the back. There we go, that's me. Now I'm not sure about this big orange shell at the top. It just looks a little bit too ominous and shiny. So I'm gonna put at least a GoPro mount on there maybe some stickers. But for now, big takeaway is that this just hardly weighs anything at all. Really simple design for the box, hardly any plastic. Comes with some spares. Let's have a look at those. Spare foam inserts and some extra Velcro for some of the adjustable parts. You get your standard petrol, petrol literature. Now I think Petzl are really good at giving you so many technical details. So many technical details that come in the box. And also if you go to the website, then you can find all these technical details in PDF format. Don't need that right now. So without looking at the technical specs, without reading the box, without going for anything online, let's just have a quick look at the helmet itself. So it's got this big shiny plate at the top, which is for impact protection from the top. Around this side, there's a lot more protection than a normal climbing helmet would give, and at the back as well, so this drops down lower. You've got a point at the back for attaching a goggles or more likely a, um, a headlamp, a head torch, and then you've got two securing fasteners, fasteners at the front as well. And that is pretty much it. If you have a quick look inside, you can see a second type of foam. And then you've got your um, really soft material for your, for your head. And that's it. So really basic, but I think so much design has gone into this to reduce the weight, make things simple. And this buckle is gonna be really nice to connect in the cold 
when you've got gloves on or whether it's just when you're trying to fiddle around with getting it done. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. This has been the Sirocco 2 helmet unboxing from Petzl. Let me know what you think. Have you got this helmet? Are you thinking about getting this helmet? If you found this video helpful, please give it a quick like, comment anything down below, and if you wanna see more kind of things like this, then click that subscribe button. Nice one, that was me unboxing the Petzl Sirocco 2. It's the ultra light climbing helmet that's on the market. I've seen loads of pros use it. Please don't forget to click the like button if you've enjoyed it, and also click subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos pop up on your feed. Thanks again, bye.